Good day my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. I am pleased to have you here, my faithful. We have gathered here today to talk about something that is of the utmost significance and urgency. This gathering is for the purpose of listening to and contemplating a unique message that has been sent to us directly from the heart of Mejigorge, where the Virgin Mary has revealed something that has the potential to alter the course of our lives forever. Due to the fact that this is not typical communication, we would like everyone to pay close attention with a heart that is overflowing with love and compassion. The Virgin Mary has cautioned us that we are about to enter a period of difficulty. It is possible that these messages will appear to be terrifying, nevertheless, in reality, our Mother Mary is only trying to warn us in a timely manner and direct us in the correct direction before the situation becomes even more dire and mankind finds itself in grave peril. Unfortunately, our Mother Mary's prayers over the years, including those from Mechagorge, have not been heard or heeded. This is the case regardless of where they originated. The world's population is preoccupied and entangled in the whirlwind of sin and wickedness. The devout do not pray frequently enough and fail to recognize the tremendous power that prayer possesses. Devastating hurricanes, horrific earthquakes, and times of profound uncertainty are some of the things that our mother makes us aware of as potential threats that could affect each and every one of us. The incidents in question are not only tales or urban legends, rather, they are genuine indications that we ought to take very seriously. However, my dear friends, the most significant risk is not just posed by these natural occurrences. If we do not make an effort to prepare ourselves spiritually and choose to disregard the signs and signals that our Heavenly Mother sends to us, we are putting ourselves in the greatest peril. We are urged to pray, to come together, and to be vigilant by the Virgin Mary. If we choose to disregard this call, we run the risk of experiencing the grace and protection that God provides to us via Mary. It is of the utmost importance that each and every one of us pays notice to the signs and messages that the Virgin Mary sends. She teaches us how to become better people through faith, and she does it by guiding us with the maternal love that she has for us. A surprise discovery about how we can strengthen our faith, how we can unite in prayer, and how we can prepare to confront any affliction with courage and trust in God will be revealed to us in the message that we will share with you today. As a result, be sure that your thoughts and hearts are open to this message. It is your responsibility to allow the knowledge and love of the Virgin Mary to thoroughly infiltrate your lives, so reforming and strengthening them. We are able to get ready for the obstacles that are going to come our way by working together and having faith in the divine protection and the intercession of our Heavenly Mother. Please leave a remark below saying, Virgin Mary, intercede for us, if you are willing to face all of the evils that are about to come. Thank you. You will demonstrate to the world that your actions are spreading the genuine message on our planet. I would like to think, my dear brothers and sisters, that you have a mother who is extremely loving and attentive, who is always vigilant, who watches your every move, and who is always ready to protect you and offer you invaluable advice. Our Heavenly Mother, the Virgin Mary, is like this. She is watching over us with an unlimited amount of affection, and she is covering us with her garment of love and protection every moment of our lives, especially during times of stress and uncertainty. She is there to provide us support and comfort, comparable to a doting mother. It is a message of enormous significance that Mary brings to us, a message that is like a divine light that is intended to shed light on our journey, deepen our faith, and strengthen our love for God and for our neighbor without condition. The Virgin Mary might be compared to a mother who guides us with both gentleness and firmness, holding our hand when we are in the midst of a difficult situation. She is there to send us words of consolation and hope when we are experiencing moments that are turbulent and full of uncertainty. When we are feeling fear and insecurity during those times, she insists that we pay attention to listen to her message because the information that she has to share is of the utmost significance for our spiritual destiny and the trip that we are on with our religion. This message is not only a piece of advice, rather, it is a genuine divine lighthouse that must enlighten our thoughts and hearts, guiding us ultimately to the truth and the love that God has for us without condition. The Virgin Mary might be compared to a mother who guides us with both gentleness and firmness, 
holding our hand when we are in the midst of a difficult situation. She is there to send us words of consolation and hope when we are experiencing moments that are turbulent and full of uncertainty. When we are feeling fear and insecurity during those times, she insists that we pay attention to listen to her message. The revelation that took place in Medjugorje very recently, in which the Virgin Mary made an appearance, is not only a usual message as a warning, it is an urgent appeal for every one of us. She wants for us to comprehend the extent of her affection and care for us, particularly for the Holy Father, Pope Francis, whom she envelopes with her mantle of love, providing him with the fortitude that is necessary to steer the Church through the next obstacles. In her prayer, Mary encourages us to put our faith in her maternal intercession and to seek refuge in Jesus Christ, her Son. In spite of the fact that we are experiencing the darkest nights, she reminds us that Jesus is the light that never goes out and the hope that always shines. We are able to find the calm, comfort, and fortitude that we need to face any evil that may come our way when we are in His arms. He is our rock and our guide. To all of you, dear children, Mary is here with us, bestowing blessings upon us and encouraging us to maintain our unwavering faith, for God is able to accomplish everything. We pray that her words will reverberate in our hearts, thereby preparing us for what is to come. May we, with the intercession of the Virgin Mary, face all adversities with courage and determination. There are three significant issues that we are confronted with in our world today, and the Virgin Mary warns us about them. These challenges include the spread of lust, the corruption of innocence, and the reduction in religious vocations. Every one of these difficulties is analogous to a darkness that is drawing near, posing a risk of obscuring the light of our faith and tainting the purity of our hearts. Through the power of our faith and the holiness of our hearts, Mary encourages us to stand up to these shadows and fight them off. It has been said that lust is a subtle poison that creeps into our lives, obscuring our perspective of the truth and distorting the beauty of genuine love. She cautions us about the need of maintaining the purity of our thoughts and hearts by avoiding temptations that have the potential to drive us away from God. In addition, the representation of the Virgin Mary brings a silent echo that has reverberated through the ages, the Holy Mother warns us of the loss in religious vocations, and she asks for a response that is both urgent and daring. Because of this decrease, we are more obligated than ever before to protect the love of God for the generations that will come after us, preserving the torch of faith even under the most trying of circumstances. Through perseverance, Mary brings to our attention the fact that despite the enormous difficulties we are experiencing, we are not abandoned to float aimlessly in the gloom. As a reliable anchor in the midst of the impending storm, she directs us to seek refuge in the faith and prayer that we have. We must seek refuge in prayer and in the community, as this is the message that the Virgin Mary is trying to convey to us. When we are confronted with insecurity and difficulties, prayer is the most powerful weapon we have. Through the preservation of the genuine essence of faith and the promotion of love and compassion among us, she encourages us to improve our relationship with God. It is my prayer that we will respond to her call with hearts that are open and willing, putting our faith in her maternal intercession and the heavenly protection that is entrusted to us. Dear brothers and sisters, the message that the Virgin Mary has for us is a guiding light that should provide us with hope and direction. We pray that we are able to accept it with all of our beings, preparing ourselves spiritually, keeping constant in our faith, and being ready to meet any challenge with bravery and resolve. Never fail to set aside at least 10 minutes each day to pray, regardless of the type of prayer or the length of time it takes. It is important that it originates from a heart that is filled with faith and fervently believes in the truth of Christianity. Our hearts, not our mouths, are the ones that God reads and listens to.